Cancer, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, we see here that there was an opportunity that was presented to you, maybe a new beginning of some kind, an adventure, a journey, whatever it may be. It could be a relationship. It could be a career. Either way, there was a new adventure that allowed your, it's like your inner confidence kind of sparked up this, this inspiration, this feeling of taking action, right? And you're a natural born entrepreneur, okay? So whatever, you know, always know that the title or the label say of entrepreneur, we don't really like labels. However, this is a good one. Okay. So when you title and label yourself as the CEO of your life, the entrepreneur of your life, right, then it puts you in the driver's seat to make decisions. Now, sometimes this pressure can be a lot on us. And sometimes we don't know what decision is best for us. So we tend to fall into an energy or a category of overthinking. However, there's no need to overthink the universe is saying right now. As a matter of fact, now is the time more than ever to simply surrender to where the energy is pulling you at this time. It doesn't, nothing is wrong. You're never wrong. It's always about what do you want? And a lot of the times we have conditioning going on that when we want to do something, we think it's not good enough or it's not okay, or it's not going to get me to where I want to go because we don't trust ourselves, right? But now is the time truly to let go of all of that. Let go of the conditioning. Let go of all of these like, thoughts that you're not good enough or it's not gonna be what you want it to be or it's not gonna end up in the result that you want it to be. It's all a bunch of fear illusions is what that is, right? A bunch of nonsense. Spirit is guiding you towards a happy new beginning that is gonna be so fulfilling and we see here that it has something to do with, with learning a new skill, right? So maybe there's gonna be a career opportunity that's gonna be your purpose, your passion. We do have the judgment card on the table, okay? It's universe validated that there's definitely some purpose going on here, right? So it's definitely going to be something that is the next step for you, right? This is what you're working towards right now. This is the next step for you, right? So don't overthink this. Surrender to where the universe is calling you because wherever you are on your journey, and if this is the beginning of the journey of what we're feeling like, then you're going to go through so many, so many different cycles of learning, so many different cycles of data collection, because the universe is always going to get us ready to be ready to be ready, right? So if you're headed over here, the universe is going to make sure by the time you get there, you show up like crown dusted off, like ready to rock, right? So along your journey, you're going to be called to learn and see and, and experience different things so that you feel ready to get to this main thing, right? So at the end of the day, have faith in the universe, have faith in your knowing. This is why it throws us off course when we go into a fear state and we start to overthink everything because universe is, is taking here. It's supposed to be this easy. It's supposed to be just like this, right? Here, let's learning all this stuff and we show up. Now, when we go into fear thinking mode, we're over here, we're doing this over here. What's this person think? What's that person think? Oh no, that didn't work. Let me go back to my familiar past. You know what I mean? So it's that we're bouncing over like this and, and you notice we're slowly getting there, but we're doing this. It's like we're self-sabotaging. It's like, wow, my God, it makes your head spin, right? It's so dizzying, right? It's true. It's like we all do it. It's a human thing, right? So we're trying to just do this. And in order to just do this, you gotta make sure that you connect to that part of you that knows what you want. And maybe that might just mean clearing your energy up. And this could mean even clearing away the influences that are in your life, maybe putting a halt to social media for a time being, start to tune into your own heart. Maybe it might be time to start that journal up or reread your old, old journals. It might be time to have spend a little more time in self-reflection, right? Really tuning into what your needs are, right? Um, because, uh, we have the Six of Swords coming out in reverse in the World card. Exactly, right? So there's just a little bit of hesitation uh, towards moving forward. Remember this, right? If it doesn't feel right for you and you feel like you need to make something happen or force something or effort something, it's not the right place for you to be focused on, right? So you got to follow your abundance. And Cancer, 
because you are a very sensitive being, we say that with all of the love in our heart in the kindest of ways, being sensitive is a superpower. It's your spiritual gift to be sensitive. When you can feel the energy, okay, you want to be able to discern between where you're actually being called and where your thoughts are like, it's this way, right? You got to be discern between the two, right? In moments of life, right? What does your heart actually tell you? And when you have a practice in the morning time before the rest of the world wakes up, before you start your day, where you're connecting to that part of you that, that is your energy body, your heart, your chakras, running energy, clearing it away, right? Then you are going to be well equipped to step out into the world. And when something shows up and you're like, oh my gosh, here's that pressure, here's that stress, here's all my thinking mind coming in of trying to get the best result, you'll be able to... Breathe that energy away and reconnect to the part of you that feels the truth, right? But if you're not having that practice in the morning time, it's going to be very difficult, okay? But you can do this because, again, it's your it's your gift to be able to pick up off the energy, right? Something feels your truth, right? Ask that. Is this my truth? If it's not your truth, don't listen to it. You're being guided into all your manifestations and all of your desires will be met, okay? The journey that you're on right now only ends at the outcome is only greatness. It's only desires being fulfilled. It's only your heart skipping a beat with satisfaction, okay? It's only good stuff. It's just, are you doing this or are you doing this, right? So at the end of the day, do know that the only thing that's gonna cause this is not tuning into that energy body and your truth of what of what the truth really is. And again, if it doesn't feel right, or if it doesn't feel abundant, like, okay, like, for instance, okay, uh, I'll give you a practical example, right? Whenever uh, I drink coffee, my mind immediately, because I've conditioned this in, this is bad, you're too overstim you're overstimulated, uh, now there's fear. That's like what my thinking mind will do, right? However, my higher self is like, chill, smaller self. Coffee makes our workouts fantastic. It wakes you up in the morning. It brings that boost that you're looking for. And ultimately, it makes you feel good, right? It's my higher self talking to my smaller self. My smaller self is like, hey, I don't know, right? Smaller self stuff. And so what, I, what you have to do is you have to follow your abundance, right? So if I'm sitting there in my smaller self mode of obsessing and thinking, oh no, it, did I just... Did I just mess up my day by having this cup of coffee? Well, what if it doesn't wear off in time? Well, what if I get tired? Well, you know, all the what ifs, right? That's smaller self. That's that obsessy energy, right? So when you think about it, you're like, oh, here I am doing the smaller self thing again. You really want to connect to the higher part. So the higher part would be like, you know what? I'm going to have more green smoothie today. I'm going to have more electrolytes today. I'm going to focus on my electrolyte consumption. Instead of focusing on the fear of the caffeine, I focus on what I can bring in, introduce, right? Introduce new abundant energy, follow the abundance. I'm going to drink more electrolytes today. I'm going to drink more green smoothie today. Ooh, I wonder how that's going to, how, if I could drink more coffee, if I drank more electrolytes, ooh, that's way more abundant. I would love to be able to drink more coffee, right? So at the end of the day, it really is about just following that abundant thought. And if it's not abundant, let it go because it won't be, uh, it, it, it won't be beneficial for you, right? All of the uh, uh, magic is in the details of things, right? So it's about moment to moment being present, right? Being present in your awareness, being present in the moment and tuning into, all right, what am I feeling right now? Energetically, where am I being called? It's honestly a really fun game. Like when we just really let go and detach from the thinking mind and from all these what ifs and how do I make this happen and the how to's and all of that, let go of all that. No matter what you're being guided, no matter what spirits caught your back, no matter what you're going to end up abundant and full of love. So at the end of the day, it's really just about, all right, well, I know I'm being guided to my highest desires. So where am I being called in this present moment, right? What do it feels good for me right now? Ooh, you know what? Maybe it is going to down and getting another coffee. Maybe it is uh, to work on my creative project. Maybe it's seeing how I can, uh, you know, make the office uh, feel happier today. Maybe I want to make someone smile, whatever it is, whatever it is that comes to mind, right? Whatever it is that feels energetically good for you, that's your path. That's your path. You don't need to figure out your path. You don't need to worry about your past uh, path. Excuse me. You don't need to concern yourself with overthinking about if you're on the right step or on the right path. None of that. It's just where it feels energetically pleasing for you in the moment. That's your path. That's going to be it. And you're going to know because it's going to feel good for you, right? So this is going to segue into your angel message of be honest with yourself. Your angels are saying to you, look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels wings, right? 
that's it. Focus on, follow the abundance, follow your bliss, follow whatever thoughts leave you feeling energetically pleased. That's going to be how you keep the energy moving, right? What is energy is doing this. If we think negatively, boom, energy stops. We feel that. Oh no, there's something missing. There's something missing. What do I do? How do I fix this? Ha, ah, this is uncomfortable. We just want the energy moving again. So then we're like, well, maybe it's this. Well, maybe it's this. Well, maybe it's because I did this today. Maybe it's because I did that today. Well, if this didn't happen, if this person didn't say this, right? We're trying to figure out this block. All that you have to do is go this and look for the abundance. I'm really grateful for that from, from my cup of tea. I'm really grateful that I got to work on time. I'm really grateful that the trees are green, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. Gratitude unlocks it, right? And it might be kind of stiff at first. Trees are green. Sky is blue. I'm so grateful. Yeah, we're here. Planet Earth, woohoo. Doesn't matter. But you're kind of getting that energy moving, right? The momentum's building. And then you start to feel better. And then you're like, okay, actually, yeah, this happened today. You know, you can start to let it go, right? But if you're stuck here in the energy, don't keep looking at it with trying to figure out and, and fix it, right? Let it go. Look to something else. Do something better for yourself that makes you feel better. And then you start to unlock it really said energy blockage. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.